Hey everyone, I downloaded the Google Play Store on my new Amazon Fire 13, or the 13th gen of the Fire 10, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, if you've been following me, you'll know that I never recommend the Amazon App Store, and I wouldn't even recommend any Amazon Fire tablet if the Play Store wasn't compatible or, or if you couldn't download it. But you can download it, even in the, in the latest version here. So how it's done is, if you've seen any of the previous videos, it's pretty similar. It's like you go to this website, this article called How To Geek on how to install the Google Play Store. The reason why you need this website is not only does it take you step by step, which I do give them credit for, um, that's how I figured out how to do it, but also it gives you the download files. And I'll have this, uh, are the places to download the four files because there's four things to download to get the Google Play Store. And there is a few little steps that may be a little different from the previous ones. So I'll just go through it step by step. So starting off, by the way, that's in the description and the comments section. And I also have an ask me, like, if you have any uh, Q&A, like, questions you can answer, I'll have that link down below. Anyways, without further ado, uh, so first off, you're going to go into security. Uh, click, go into, or, I mean, go into settings, click on security and privacy. Then go into apps from unknown sources. Make sure that in the Silk browser, this says allowed. If it's not, click on it, and then click allow from this source. And then this is turned on here. So I'm going to go back into the Silk browser, then go to that How To Geek article, article, and then from there, I'm just going to scroll all the way down. And by the way, it says, I think it's recommended that you take your micro SD card out or something like that it said here. Um, but yeah, go all the way down to where it says download the Play Store files, and then you're going to go keep going down. I know it's pretty long. There's a lot of ads. That's the one downside about this website. It's uh, it's so many ads and it's a lot of things to open up. So the first, anyways, the first thing we have here is the Google account manager. I think I downloaded this one, even though it says 12th gen or 11th gen, some of these worked better than others. So I would, I'm just going to hold on to this and click open a new tab because I'm going to, we're going to come back to this website because there, again, there's four things to download. So when you get here, you're just going, going to want to scroll down. Don't hit anything that says download because that might be like a virus or it's not officially, it's not the official download. So you're going to want to click on the latest one as long or the first one as long as it doesn't say beta after it. Okay, and there's an ad that popped up again as usual. No surprise there. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so bad. Okay, so it says here, I think we clicked on it, so I'm going to try to click see all available downloads. Whoops, I clicked on an ad right there. Like I said, guys, be careful. And by the way, this method is completely free. You don't have to pay a single penny. You don't have to enter your information anywhere. If you are or if it tells you to, that means you're in the wrong place and you're going to want to have to close out and start over again. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to click on this once more. And fingers crossed, I hope it shows up finally. I don't know why it says see all available downloads. It's like the third time. Oh, maybe I got to click on this one finally. Okay. So click on this. And then, uh, yeah, it's like you have to go through like a few different like download buttons. And then finally, you see this download button in red. If it looks like this, that's the official place to download it from. So you're, you're going to want to click download. And then just wait, download starting. Then you're going to click download. Next step is you're going to go back into that How To Geek article, and then now that since we downloaded this Google Account Manager, we're going to download the next thing, which is Google Services Framework. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that sometimes I'll try to download the 12th gen, but if it doesn't work, if it says there's a problem parsing the package or something like that, you can use the previous generation download. So, for example, uh, let's say you have you might not have the latest version and the latest version doesn't even show up here so that's why i would normally try out the first one which is or i mean this one down here that says fire 7 12th gen on fire os 8. so i would use this one and try to download it and then i would install everything which i'll show a little bit later if that doesn't work then or if it says there's a problem parsing the package or some error error then uh, you're just want to, going to want to go into the previous one and just download that older version for that one specifically. So anyways, I'm going to go into this. I'm going to open a new tab. And then you're going to be doing the same thing for, for the next, uh, for the first three downloads. It's going to be pretty much the same or look the same. Uh, this one's a lot, lot easier because it's already down here. Just click that download button and it should start really soon. Oh no, sorry. It actually got to click on this here. It's 4.1 megabits. 
And then once that's clicked, it should show up. You can download this. The, the third one is all the way down here, Google Play Services. Now, it's all together, and you're going to want to click on, I'm going to click the latest. Actually, the latest one did not work for me on this one, I believe. So I just used this one. Um, you can try to see if the, the latest one works first, like this one here. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to, you can try out the previous download here, which I'm going to do here. And again, go through the same process. Uh, just make sure it doesn't say beta in front or anything, and, and it doesn't. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and try to download that. And download APK. So it's 174 megabits for this one, the Google Play services. And it should start here. And it said it might say like, oh, it might be harmful or something. This one's fine. Um, and you can ju I just click download anyway. And then the final one, I just there's only one download. Go all the way down where it says Google Google Play Store, and it says all models. So there's one there's one link. I'm gonna open it in new tab. And this one looks a little bit different from the other ones because it's going to be in blue, especially that download button. So I'm going to click on this here. It says bundle, huh? I hate the bundles because I don't think those are the downloads sometimes. And if it's not, then you can click the, the APK version right underneath. Well, let me see here. Okay, yeah. Sometimes this may not work. So if this one doesn't work, then I would just say, yeah. Oh, which one is it downloading? Let me see. I'm glad we're doing this here. So the reason why I don't like the the uh, splits or the bundle version is usually because it's a bin file, and that's not the that's not really the way to go. You, it has to be it has to be an APK file like this one where it says here APK, and just got to download that and so that you can install it because bin files you really can't install. Okay, going down, and then gonna click download APK here, and it's it's in blue. Compared to the other ones that were in red, this one is gonna be in blue. So click on that download button, and it should start very soon, and you're gonna wanna download this one. Once that's done, you can click on the home button, and then go into your files app, which is right here, the files logo. Um, go into downloads, and then change this filter, or the layout to this on the top right here. Just click that so that you can read the names at the end. And the reason why that's important is because you have to download these or install these in order. So I'm going to get out of this and show you the order that it should be installed in. So it's going to be GSF login first, then GSF, then GMS, and then finally vending. So download these four, and we're going to do that in order. And then once you click once you as you install just click done don't open any, anything and make sure it says like android application at the end here anything that says says bin file like i said before it's not going to work and you're probably just going to want to download the previous uh link for that like for instance let me go back here so for this one specifically it was i believe the gms file so gms might have been the second one i'm guessing let's just say it was the second one so i'm going to go back up here Man, there's so many ads. Holy cow. Oops, I'm all the way up here. All right, so I'm here. So let's say this is the GMS one, and I downloaded it from here. If Since this doesn't work and it downloads a bin file, I would just try a previous link in that in this link. I would try a previous download in that link. If that doesn't work, then I would just go to this one, click on this link, and try to install it from there. And that that worked for me. Like, that's... Because when I when it came up saying I had a problem parsing the package or or when I have the bin file here, this will just open up WPS Office and it's just going to be something random. So like I said, just to, just don't um, if you have to do that, just go and try to download the previous one, and that should work just fine. Once you d install all these four, like one at a time in order, uh, you're going to want to restart your device. So just click restart, and then you should be good to go. Now. If you don't now, if you don't restart it and you see the Play Store, that's great. I mean, that means it it worked the installation, but you have to restart it to prevent any problems. And if you do have problem problems still after installing this, like you see the logo, but you don't like you're not able to access it or whatever, even after restarting it, I do have a separate video that I'll have an annotation for or a card right around here where I go over some of the issues that helped me resolve that problem. So go check that one out, and subscribe for more, and leave a like if you found this video helpful. As always, thanks for watching.